What's up guys? Got some cool kind of inside information here for you, some spy shots. So Adam Brown sent me this picture right here and uh, I got pretty excited about it because this is the low range gear set out of a Pioneer or Talon 1000 sub transmission. Um, and this is the reverse idler. So what you're looking at here is the first reduction for the Pioneer 1000 Talon 1000 that is in the sub transmission. Okay, so first of all, why is that a big deal? Um, Putting the gear reduction in the sub-transmission is awesome because it's after the clutches and it's after the transmission and the engine, right? So this is putting the gears closer to the wheels, um, which means it takes stress off of a lot of other components. Also, this is awesome because it doesn't slow your machine down in high range. This is just a low range reduction. So that's pretty cool. Now, I know what I just said, you want the reduction as close to the wheels as possible. You're probably thinking, oh, well, duh, just run portals. It's in the wheel. Portals suck um, for most applications because they add a ton of weight in general, and more importantly, they add a ton of unsprung weight. So the number one way to just ruin the handling on a sporty side-by-side -side is to put portals on it. Um, one of the reasons I just took them off my Pioneer was because I knew these gears were coming out. Also, I just hated the handling. It just makes it feel like it's nailed to the ground. The suspension can't keep up with that much unsprung weight. It's like running dualies, essentially. Anyway... So these are a good solution for people that want to run a medium-sized tire on a Talon or a Pioneer, and they don't want to do portals. So I think with these gears, you could run comfortably a 35 on a Pioneer 1000 or on a Talon and a 34 on a Pioneer 1000 if it's a 2022 and up because they have more power and lower, you know, whatever. Um, anyway, I'm excited about these. So I calculated the teeth on them, counted the teeth on this one. It's definitely 51 teeth on the big gear. That's why all of these say 51. Um, the problem is I can't see the entirety of the small gear in the picture, so I'm kind of guessing how many teeth are on this small gear. Um, it's somewhere between 15 and 17 teeth. Uh, so if you count the teeth, you can see 10. So if I had to guess, there's you know another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on the back. So I think it's probably a 16 tooth. Um, Adam Brown says it's supposed to be a 15 tooth. So uh, based on that, I went through and calculated the reduction ratios. Um, in your stock transmission, these gears, teeth are on a, in the Honda manual and on Partzilla. You have a 48 for the big gear and an 18 for the small gear and low. That gives you a ratio of 2.66. Um, and then if you look at the reduction, if this was a 17 tooth, that would give you a 3 to 1. If the small gear is a 16 tooth, that would give you a 3.2 to 1. And it's a 15 tooth, it would give you a 3.4. Now I should mention, um, if you keep everything like one to one, do the math, um, the radius um, of the two gears, right, the distance between the center and this center have to be the same. So you can do a little bit of math knowing that the radiuses add up to the same value, and that gives you 17. I really hope it's not 17, because the 17 only works out to a 12.5% reduction. But if it's a 16, that's a 20% reduction. The big news is, the best possible is if it's a, let's do this, if it's a 1551, that's a 27.5, 28% reduction. This would be money. This is good too. I would really, I'm really hoping it's, it's a 15 tooth. Now, in order to get a 15 tooth, you have to play some games with the tooth shape um, to get it to mesh properly and, you know, like get that ratio 15 to 51 and obviously these are new cut gears so they definitely could have done that these teeth could be smaller um, but being that it went from 48 to 51 on the big gear I think it probably went from 18 to 16 on the small gear but like I said I got to get more pictures to confirm anyway pretty exciting so um, I'm gonna try to get my hands on one of these and drop them in the Pioneer the one question mark is tuning Obviously, when you mess with the ratios on these double clutch machines, the computer kind of freaks out um, because it has a wheel speed sensor on the front diff. In the case of the Talon, there's like three wheel speed sensors because of I four wheel drive. Um, so definitely gonna need some tuning for the Talon. I'm wondering if we could make it work on the Pioneer with just a speedo healer. Uh, but as soon as I get one in hand, I'll install it and see how mad the computer gets, and then we'll start trying to use a speedo healer or something like that uh, to get it shifting properly again. Um, I hope that if it's a 20% on the Pioneer, it might work okay in manual mode. Um, hard to say. I haven't really messed with this stuff all that much. 
Now, of course, there is another option from Jeremy Liam Reduction Boss. He makes an internal reduction that's more internal than this. I'll say that because it's closer to the crankshaft. So his reduction is really a primary reduction. It goes right between the crankshaft and the clutch hub, um, the clutch outer for the DCT. And I think his is like a 27%. So if you were to stack his reduction with this reduction, I think that'd be like, uh, let's say uh, about 1.27 times 1. To say if this is 1.2 or 1.19, um, that'd give you a 51% reduction if you stack this with Jeremy Lee's, and it was indeed a 16 tooth small gear. Uh, so that'd be pretty badass, and you could run a serious tire without portals. Now, of course, both of these reductions, um, this one in the subtransmission and Jeremy Lee's reduction, put more stress on the output shaft of the subtransmission, and those have been known to break doing hardcore, you know, bouncing up rocks and stuff. So uh, you definitely want to buy Adam Brown's hardcore subtransmission shaft. But anyway, Adam's put a ton of work into making these, and he sent me some sneak peeks, and I'm pretty excited about it. Let me show you some other stuff he sent me while I've got you on here. So here's a picture of the gears in a subtransmission. It looks like they had to clearance the case a little bit for this big gear, maybe. Pretty interesting. Here's another picture of the small gear. Again, in this picture, you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten teeth. Uh, so you got to kind of guess how many teeth are not visible here. You can use these marks that are kind of going across. Uh, I don't know. I think it's going to be 16 or 17 teeth. Only time will tell. Um, but yeah, here's those uh, fancy ring and pinions. So eventually we'll be able to put a higher and lower ring and pinion in the Talon. I don't know about the Pioneer. But that's going to be cool. So if you were to stack the Jeremy Lee reduction the Adam Brown secondary reduction, and the Adam Brown ring and pinion, you'd have some crazy low gears in a Talon, which is pretty badass. All right, that's all I got, guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and let me know which one you think it is. Is it a 16, a 17, or a 15, looking at this picture right here? I'll zoom in on it for you real good to give you the best, best possible look. But yeah, I'm guessing 16 teeth on this guy.